astronaut food. Right. right. Astronaut okay. food is super cool. We've All got right, some then. we want to try here in the spare room studio. But you first, do. I want to show you a, a little video of Tim Peake's Tim. breakfast. Here it is. Breakfast this morning. Scrambled eggs. That about five minutes, it'll be ready to eat. The main problem with eating and drinking in space, any water wouldn't stay in a cup. It would come out and just kind of hover in the lack of gravity, you know, very microgravity and just kind of hover it there. And yes. um, also you've got the problem that any crumbs from anything you eat could go hanging around, flying yeah. around and then get into electronics and cause all sorts of problems. No, you don't want that at all. So actually no. special ways of packaging and sealing food mm. uh, had to be invented. So anything with crumbs had to be in a sealed packet, but also food had to be lightweight because the space station has to carry a lot of food yeah. to feed the crew for a long time yeah and um, so freeze-dried food is something that's used in space mm, uh, when I've you yeah when you freeze-dry food uh you cook it you then quickly freeze it and then you suck all of the water out because that water's heavy so yeah, that's a exactly. good idea. Get the water out. Okay. Yeah, so it's freeze dry, but yeah. this means that that food will last a really long time, which is a good thing, and it's light. And I've actually got some freeze dried food right here. Oh, yes. You might have seen this before. This is actually freeze dried astronaut ice cream. Um, it's brilliant because it's not got any water in it, it's lightweight. It was developed for space, but it didn't go down too well with astronauts, so they weren't. All right, okay, so we're going to try it. I want to try it. Yeah. I've actually never tried this before. Neither have I. Well, apparently... Ooh. Ooh. Uh, oh. We washed our hands before the show. We're always yeah. very careful that everything is clean. Oh, it's, oh, it's a an wafer. Ice, it's an ice cream sandwich. Should I just go for it? Yeah. There you go. Here you go. Here it is, close up. I mean, it's tasty. It's quite good. Mm, it's pretty tasty. Well, there you go. So, actually, at first... It's, gro it's growing on me. It's growing on me. Oops. Wow. We shouldn't have thought about this, shouldn't we? <laughs> Stuck together. How are we going to finish the show? <laughs> so there's no water. It's got the water, the saliva in my mouth, and it's just like somebody going. <laughs> we haven't thought about this. Anyway, so some foods like the ice cream are freeze dried, and others don't need to be. Wow, gluey. Other <laughs> foods don't need to be dried at all. Something like a dried fruit, you can just eat it as it is. All good. Oh. But then other foods mm. need to have water added to them to make them edible. Mm. So it will be um, a dry food, maybe something that's powdered. And when you add water, just like Tim Peake did with, with his eggs. It rehydrates it. That's the word, rehydration. Um, anything else I can try? Yeah. So if you uh, just look over there, we have got um, some dehydrated food. Oh, it's warm. This is Yeah, so it's savoury this time. And I've already put some hot water in it. So let's see. This is exactly the sort of thing that astronauts would be eating although they would have it out of a sealed tube. This is a, a sort of um, potato hot pot. <laughs> mm. It's not that bad. I mean, I wouldn't, it's not, it's not amazing. But if I had to live on that. Well, there you go. That's your lunch sorted then. Oh, there you go. There you go. You me. can have that. Okay, so there you go. So that is an example of the type of food that has to be hydrated. Someone's just said, no, get a bin first. <laughs> but Greg, your, your meal hasn't finished there. All I've right. gone and made you your Let's own. Leave that for later. Greg's Astro Pudding. Look at this. A little what? cheeky surprise. This is amazing. Yeah. So I have made this for you, your very own pudding. Thank you. I, I mean, I'm saying thank you. I haven't tried it yet. Right, um, so Greg's Astro do, Pudding, what do we do? Well, we're running out of time, so oh. we're just going to add in a little bit of water. So imagine we are on the space station. We are filling our Astro Pudding with water to hydrate that powdered stuff. And then you just need to mix it around like we saw Tim doing, just like this. And just so you know, everybody at home, for this, I have used um, custard powder. I've used some oat flour, a little bit of icing sugar. If you were doing this at home, you could maybe use uh, something like a powdered angel delight. Oat flour um, is just oats that you've whizzed up in a blender. And now you right? can, yeah, yeah. And now you can take the funnel out and you've got your own little straw. So have your own Astro pudding. Mm, let's just look at this in close up, everyone. Lucky me. Okay, so if you wanted to, you could make it much thicker consistency, so it was more um, kind of kind of like a pudding <laughs> texture. But I've made it more like a smoothie, so you can drink it through a straw. Okay, here goes. I mean, it's wet. Is I it, quite like it. Is it okay? It's a bit like a smoothie, but actually, I think it would be fun if you made your own. It's chewy. Your own recipe. It's quite chewy. Oh goodness me! So there you go. Have mm. a go at making your own astro mm. pudding.